Okay, let me share the screen again. Yeah. We go. Yeah. So country name again. Me book. Jungkook. Ilbon. Mm -hmm. And how do we say Korea? You saw the flag, the picture, yeah? That was a Korea flag, actually. The color was a Everyone try to say Hanguk. Exactly. Maybe some of you saw another way to go. For example, two different ways to say. Nam Han or Te Han Min. If I translate in Korea, it's simply Korea. And the Nam Han will be South Korea. This Nam is for the direction South. South. Uh, you remember, uh, this is just like I'm trying to tell you uh, what is the details actually. What about this one? Te Han Min. This is officially. When you're trying to call to Korea like a republic, or... republic, republic yes. of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Give me one second. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Next question. Ah, pretty good job. Pretty. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Everyone did a correct, at least who choose the answer. Uh huh. Yeah, very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, So repeating again, red color, Hanguk, Korea, blue color, Ilbon, Japan, and yellow color, Jungkook, China, uh -huh. and the green color, Miguk, America. What are you missing? We got everything here, yeah? Mm. Okay, but the, here's interesting thing. Uh, in Korea, sometimes we called Ilbon, Sushiguk. And this is an interesting fact, actually. Yeah, sushi cook. Uh, well, if I say that way, it's a sort of a racist way to call. Uh, but uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, like, uh, let's check the country names again. Mi guk, chung guk, han guk. This guk is uh, based on Chinese letter, and the meaning is nation. And uh, we're using just uh, this nation name uh, based on Chinese letter, as in Korean, and uh, we put the sushi. Yeah, talking about the sushi nation. Yeah, sushi. Talking about the sushi. Yeah, let me write it down. Yeah, more than you know, really commonly we call Japan like this way. It's kind of a, like a sort of a slang way. Mm -hmm. So like a, those kind of thing, cultural thing. Yeah, this is what you can learn. So sushi go talking about the Japan. Exactly same as Japan. Yes, another slang way to go. Yeah, probably next question will be you're gonna see something like that, like a slang way to call, and you're gonna see the flag, and you're gonna choose the country name. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. Next question. Oh, pretty good job. Oh, Winnie, you're hitting. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, very good, very good. Uh, someone chose to rush, yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Ilbon, as we know, Japan, and the Migo, answer, as we know, America, and uh, this blue color, blue color, is reading as, um, yeah, everyone unlock the mute and say with me, Nam America. Nam America. Exactly, one more time. Nam 
North America. As you can see, America using in Congolese talking about the America. Uh, Is it South? Islam, can you see? When I try to explain South Korea, I using same syllable. Nam nam. South talking America. South America, exactly. Mm -hmm. South America, yeah. Mm, but the, some of the Latin countries, actually, I'm kind of agree with that as well. Like uh, we don't like. I mean, Mexico, you know. Uh, we don't like Mexican people. We don't like call Mexico is a part of the South America uh, because actually, technically, no, we are not part of the America. Mm. And I completely respect it. Actually, we love to call by Latin countries like all these Brazils, Mexico, uh, Bol Bolivia, or yeah, uh, Brazils as well. Yeah. Um, but the, sadly, sadly, the Korean we used to call all those Latin countries called the Nam America, like this way, uh, because they don't know much. They don't know much about the, these Latin countries. That they still discovering. I'm talking about the Koreans. Koreans are still discovering about these Latin countries, but they only what they know is uh, yeah. Mexico is under the America, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw one of a video from YouTube the, from the, it's called the channel named called the Vice and they asking to Korean, it was an interview, they asking to Korean, where is the Mexico? And the one stupid Korean woman said, oh, Mexico is the uh, north side of the America, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty shocked actually because uh, Korea, we have a, like a very good education, especially like a middle school, high school, and the university as well. Even you don't study geology, um, like a, um, personally, you are learning uh, very properly from the schools. Yeah, six years at least, six years. Yeah, where is the countries and the names and the capital city and those kind of things. Yeah, uh, but uh, I was pretty disappointed about the, how Korea knows about the Latin countries, especially I'm living in Mexico. That is why. Okay, yeah. And uh, let's move on. What about this one? Can you see the title here? I put that as a Chonjo book. Chonjo book. Uh, this is about the number. This is about the number. So Chonjo, Chonjo, Chonjo is the uh, amount of the number. Yeah, this is the amount of the number. This is what we call the chonjo. Yeah, a lot of zeros, eh? A lot of zeros. Yeah. Let me separate it this way. Yeah, uh, this is a chonjo. This is a chonjo mm, in Korean. The one quadrillion. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, is it 100 million? Let me see. Mm, quadrillion. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a, it's a 1,000 million, no? 1,000 million, I guess. Ah, no, it's a billion. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, 1,000. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know too much at all. I think that's a 1,000 billion, if I'm correct, actually. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, uh, speaking of that, actually, why we call America for this number of the nation, this Chonjo nation, Chonjo book? Why? Uh, the reason why, because America, they spending this amount of US dollar for the military service. Mm. As you know, in Korea, we are every Korean male, we are have to join, we have to join. <laughs> army units for serving two years in Korea as a Korean male. Also, I did it as well. Uh, so because of that, we are pretty interested about the American military systems, actually, especially after World War II, the America made us free from Japan. And also they helped us when we have a civil war in 1963 to 1965. Yeah. Uh, America helped us a lot for like a U.S. force, actually, U.S. Um, Navy force, yeah. And uh, we are admired that America spent this a lot of amount of the money a year for the military service, and we are admiring that. 
because of that is also language called America, Chonjogook, but the, uh, actually it's based on admiring America about the military um, services and military spending monies and the good equipment and those kind of things. Mm. Yeah, it's a good to know. Uh, but uh, if I tell you a little bit more uh, politics right now, uh, just a little bit, um, we are having an argument with Donald Trump because uh, now the U.S. military unit, they used to stay in Korea since 1965, but uh, they trying to, uh, Trump was trying to get that back to the America, but the Korea government said we need them, but the donor said if you want to keep it, then you need to pay triple times what you used to pay. Yeah, like those kind of politics, actually. If you're interested about it, you can search about it. The Korea Military US. If you search like this title, you're going to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Next one. Very good. Yeah, very good. Okay. Let me give you a hint. Name is So Shi Ji Guk. <laughs> yeah, none, none of the correct answer, actually. I'm sorry to see that, actually, yeah. Okay, the flag was uh, Germany. Flag was uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just like uh, mixed uh, all the syllable changing, actually. It's uh, just a word play, word play. Uh, this green part is the correct way to say Germany. Let me write it down here, yeah. Tok il. Okay, S say with me, everyone. Tok il. Germany. Yeah. 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 And as you can see, you know, red, blue, the yellow part is all the level. It's just a word plain. Uh -huh. Just the green part is the correct one. And the, another way to say is a so si ji guk in Korea. We call this a lot to Germany actually because uh, so si ji, as you can imagine, yes, talk about the sausage. Yeah. Because the sausage in Germany is a pretty um, famous, you know, the sausage and the beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we call the sausage for the Germany. Mm -hmm. So let me put the equal like this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, I know, it sounds pretty racist. Korean called Japan to the sushi island, sushi land, and the uh, Korean called German sausage land. Yeah. But, you know, just it's a joking. Yeah, it's a joke and it's a kind of like a for fun. So I hope you understand. We are not trying to be mean. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Next one. Next one. Kangaroo cook. Kangaroo cook. Yeah. This one is also was a word of playing actually, mm -hmm. word of playing. This one was a hokshi, red part hokshi, blue part huji, and the yellow part uh, hongju. Actually, none of that doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe the blue part huji. This is the name of the uh, volcano in Japan. Maybe only that. But this one, this is how we correct the way to say hoju. And the country name was, country was Australia, Australia. Oju, American dog. Australia. And the another way to say was. Is it kangaroo? kangaroo? Yeah, exactly. Kangaroo <laughs> book. Yeah, this is another way to say. Yeah, uh, Australia. Because uh, Australia have a kangaroo. Yeah, we call the kangaroo nation. Kangaroo book, like that. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, eh? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Next one. Yeah. Mm, I will do quickly. Few more questions. Shinsa mm -hmm. Guk. It's also word play. Ah, very good, actually. Pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Ten people participating. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This one was also word play. Mm. As you saw, the flag is talking about the England. Yeah. UK. And we correct way to say it's a young book. Uh -huh. Let me simply put there as a UK, yeah, United Kingdom. And uh, another way to say, slang way to say in Korea, we call the Shinsa book. And what is the Shinsa? Shinsa is a gentleman. Yeah, 
gentleman. We call the Shinza. Shinza, yeah. So like that, like that. Uh, we have a, some sort of a good meaning of a slang, like a, to the UK or to the America, sort of. Yeah. Well, yeah, to the Japan as well. Sushi. Yeah, we love sushi, you know. I love sushi. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on. Next one. Mm -hmm. We saw how to say China. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, we have someone choose to, yeah, it's also was a word playing actually, it was a for the word playing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so the, how, the correct way to say is a Jungkook, everyone, Jungkook. I mentioned the here actually, Jungkook here, China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jungkook. And the, the explanation here, I, so this is a, another slang way to call, we call the Jangkeguk. Jangke is uh, this one, the Chinese word from the Jangkui. Jangkui. Uh, this uh, is about the Taiwanese. Talk about the Taiwanese and when they work in a uh, Taiwanese worker. Yeah, working in the, um, how to say, um, in the, what, what kind of industry, how to say. Yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, just a one sort of business industry for Taiwanese and uh, they, in Chinese, Chinese way to say it's a jangkui, and uh, it's a changing to the jangkui, and uh, that's how it become. Yeah, it's a kind of like a including um, the actually history in this case. Yeah, anyway. Let me try. But the, let me tell you, in Korea, when you call jangke to the Chinese, it's not really good meaning to use actually. Yeah, because uh, uh, we could call just a jungkuk saram, like a jungkuk in jungkuk saram, like a Chinese person. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. Next one. Heljum. This is about Heljum. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the answer can be two different things actually. Yes, Pelgi E or Heljum. But in Korea, actually, we don't say peljum. This is, I just write, wrote as a Konglish version. But the, if you ask to Korean, what is the belzum? Yeah, you, we already know belzum, belzum. We have to talk about the country name belzum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the, if you tell to Korean who Korean doesn't speak English well, they will not understand. They will understand as a belgi e. If you say Pergi E, they will understand. If you say Pergi E, they will understand the country name, Belzum. Uh, because uh, it's all about the Konglish effect. Because uh, when we was young, when you studying the geology, uh, we don't learn the English correct way to say Belzum. We don't learn like that. We learn as a Pergi E, which is a complete Konglish. So I know this is a little bit shameful, but the um, till my age 17, I didn't know how to call Belzum. Yeah, I only knew as a Pelgi E. Yeah, that's pretty shameful, but because I didn't speak English that well when I was 17. Yeah, and my actually Belzum friend taught me at the moment. Like uh, she asked me, do you know where's a Belzum? And he asked me, uh, I'm from Belzum. And I said, what country? Is there a country do I know? And uh, he showed me on the cell phone with a bell zoom, actually. And after that, I realized, ah, Pelgie. When I say Pelgie, now he didn't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, um, yeah like those kind of things. Okay, uh, let's move on. Next one. Mm -hmm. Two more questions. And there's a double point. Taco Guk. What will be? Taco Guk. I didn't put the flag this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, answer is uh, Mexico, actually. Uh, so yeah, as I said, if you already know how to read the Koreans, so it will be more fun. But let me tell you, the red color, red part, is called Nam America. Nam America, we talk about that, Z South America. And the blue part, Argentina, Argentina, Argentina. And uh, this yellow part is uh, Mexico. 
Mexico, yeah, Mexico, and the green part is Brazil. Brazil, yeah. So like uh, all these things is a Congolese, as you can see, and especially the title what giving is a taco book. Yeah, we call the Mexico for taco nation. Yes, taco, the food, taco nation. Yeah, taco book. And uh, on the right side, Mexico, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and uh, let me write down what country we saw Argentina and Brazil as well. Argentina, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Brazil, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, let me continue. Yeah. Or last question, last question. It's a bit difficult. Yeah. I didn't play any picture. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, well, one person did a correct, actually, but the, some of them choose the France, which is a France. Ah, pretty well, yeah. Let me just quickly write down the country names here, yeah. France, uh -huh. and what else? France, Tunisia, Portugal, yeah. Tunisia, Portugal. As you can see, all the Congolese, but the answer was a Netherlands, Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. And uh, what they say in Korea, we put that as tulip gook, tulip, tulip. The flower, nation flower from Netherlands, actually, tulip. Uh -huh. And uh, another way to say puncha gook, puncha gook. Puncha is a wind wheel, wind wheel, puncha. So wind wheel nation or tulip nation, yeah, another way to say is a, yeah, uh, Netherlands, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that was a little bit, little bit difficult, was it? Because uh, if you cannot able to read, the question might be difficult actually, yeah. So, but don't worry, let's see. So who's poetry? Ah, third place, good job poetry. Mm -hmm. Manela, good job second place. And first place? Well done, Jacqueline. <laughs> Ja uh, how to say, jo Joylin? How, how I call your name, Lopez? Joylin. Joylin? Joylin? Yes. Yes. Joylin. Ah, well done, well done. Very good, very good. Thumbs up, Nita. Okay, yeah. So that was uh, what you're playing. Okay, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, we run out of time, so let's move on. Okay, so let me close this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, the games was about that, about the nation name and the learn about the how Korean call those um, slang way to call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any question, anyone? Let me just quickly receive a question. Mm. Any question? Like, uh, do you, if you want to know how to call your country name, you can ask me. Mm -hmm. Any question? I think all good. Okay. Uh, if you have a question, yeah, I'll knock the mute and tell me. Mm -hmm. Uh, everything's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. So today we are going to continue about the preposition. We are going to continue about the preposition. Yeah. So this is a what we had a class. This is what we had a class like a very previous uh around like a three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, before many of you joining the classroom, actually, the, there's a seven exclusive students are studying with me about the prepositions. And I'm just going to continue for this preposition because it's very useful for you. So, everyone, unlock the mute, read with me. Read with me. Mm. Up, how to say? We. 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 Exactly. We meaning is up. Okay. Preposition location, that's what I'm talking. And continue. Are. 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 Down. Uh -huh. Okay. Continue. Meet. 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 Let me write down this way. For pronunciation, is exactly the same as uh, this one. Uh, this mm -hmm. syllable doesn't have any meaning. It's just uh, I'm comparing with uh, this original syllable with uh, how to pronunciation. Mm -hmm. 
because uh, can you see the patchim from this syllable? Patchim is a uh, this this consonant. Yes. Yeah, that's it's exactly the same as a this batchim, like a look batchim, same. And the T sound, and the T sound, yeah. So, uh, reading as a mit, like a T sound that has to be at the end, mit. Mm -hmm. Say me one more time, everyone. Mit. 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 And I wrote the meaning as a down, actually. What is the difference, what is the difference between are and the mit? Mm. Are is a, just a whatever the downs, but the mid is a directly under. So let me give you an example. Here's my cell phone and here's my uh, notebook. Yeah. So I'm going to making like a piles, yeah, like a notebooks and cell phone. And let me put the pens on top. Hmm, like that. So when you're trying to talk about are from the pen, can be cell phone or notebook or maybe table, photo, yeah, everything. Uh, but the, if you talk about the meats from the pen, it's only talking about the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are and the meats. Okay, continue. And say with me, everyone. Up. 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 Exactly. Exactly same Up. sound as uh, this one. Up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. P sound at the end. Up. And the meaning is in front. In front. Mm -hmm. In front. Okay. Continue, say with me. Tui. Exactly. Meaning is a behind. And uh, let me teach you something very useful. Regular rule. Yeah. When you're talking about the behind something, behind something, for example, like a backyard or maybe back garage, like those kind of things. So let me put this way. Tui plus noun. Tui plus noun. And the example will be we um, madang. Yeah, this is a garage. Madang means a yard, actually. But when you say behind the yard, it's a talking about the yeah, um, yeah, backyard, backyard. Or another example, maybe uh, we um, iyagi, iyagi, iyagi meaning is a conversation, or can also meaning can be story, but simply story. A conversation here. Yeah, and the we is a so. Behind the conversation is talk is uh, talking about this thing. Um, in front of your friends, talking good things, but the behind of your friends, yeah, talking some mild things. Yeah, I'm talking about like a guardship or things, you know, like making bad reputation or you talking talking behind. Yeah, like those kind of things. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, thing is, when you're trying to conjugate like this way, we plus noun, you have to change the syllable. We say. Wit, yeah, wit. We're gonna include in bachim, like the, the uh, T sound of the bachim, mm -hmm. like that, as you can see, yeah. And the, which is the uh, madang is incorrect. We have to say twit madang. And also this one as well, twit iyagi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. This is another tip. This is a tip for when you're trying to conjugate, when you're trying to say behind plus now. Mm -hmm. So let me change the color. Give me one second. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah. Say with me, everyone. O ren chok. O ren chok. Okay. Very good. One more time. O ren chok. O ren chok. Exactly. O ren chok. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Maybe. If it's hard to pronunciation, this one actually, try to make a pronunciation in this syllable, this one. It's a reading as a chok, 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 plus K sound, chok. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see, like using this difference between this syllable and this syllable, it's a first consonant, this is a double consonant, and this one is a single consonant, yeah. When you try to pronunciation, actually the sounds is exactly same, or which means the, your tongue moving, your mouth shape is exactly same as this syllable and this syllable. But the, what is the only difference is when, whenever you're trying to sing, in, you put your energy on your belly. That's the difference. When you're trying to pronounce something with a double consonant, you have to put the energy on your belly and the, Spit it out, spit it out. 
So try to compare how I'm saying. This one reading as a chalk, but this one reading as a chalk. Just spit out the differences. Mm -hmm. One more time, say them everyone together. Chalk, 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 chalk. chalk. Exactly. Very good. Someone spitting out like that. Yeah. Chalk and chalk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Don't put too much. It sounds like you're like a <laughs> right. Yeah. You're going to practice here more, actually. Say with me. When chalk. When chalk. Very good. Yeah. Spitting out. When chalk. Yeah, when chok means left side. Again, oren chok is a right side and when chok is a left side. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Say with me. Yok. 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 Yok meaning is a yuck. side, which means it can be right yuck. side, can be left side. Uh -huh. Everything. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yang chok. Yang chok. Yang chok. Yang chok is a both side. Again, when you're talking about the yop, this one side, it's only talking about the one side, one side. Can be right side, can be left side. But when you're talking about the yang chok, yeah, it's a talk about the both side, on, uh, together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And next one, say me. An. An. An meaning inside, pretty easy to say. Okay. What about this one? Say with me. It's ah. exactly the same pronunciation as a this syllable. So try to say. Hak meaning is outside. Ah. outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the for today, for today, most important uh, pro, uh, preposition for today. Say with me. Ah, e. ah, ah, e. Exactly. Ah. Meaning it between meaning is a between and the uh, reason why because why this is the most important for today because the uh, last class i mean last last class like uh, three weeks ago we learned about the using those preposition and trying to make a sentence for explaining object location and uh, today we are going to continue with uh, how to using between and uh, make a sentence uh, for explaining object location, uh, but uh, if you follow, uh, it won't be difficult. It won't be difficult. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Whose phone is ringing? Yeah, can you mute? If uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So here is the rule. Here's the rule. This is a. Uh, this is the. Uh, I just wrote it because some of you are missing the classes about uh, using preposition and how to making sentence explaining object location. So this is a example that using like a those preposition and make a sentence. So let me let's let's do it together. Yeah. Here we go. So preposition. I put that as a pink color. Pink color here. Pink color and this is a preposition. Like using, I using we, which is a behind. And the you so and the object. So when you try to explain the object location, like a, for example, my cell phone is on top of the table. Hmm. At least you need to using two different objects for explaining object location. Object one here, I'm talking about the. That's the one I'm trying to explain the location, object location. And the another object two, this is I'm talking about just using this object two for explaining object one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as you can see, for making sentence explaining object location, you need to at least using two different objects. One for explaining the location, other one for helping explain the location. Mm -hmm. So I put that as a yellow color for object one, which is uh, trying to explain the location of the object one and the object two, the green color. This one is just uh, being here for helping explaining. Mm. So here's a sentence. Cotton E Takja Tuye is yo. So when you're trying to explain in object location, remember always finish with the is yo. Isoyo originally from the verb itta. Itta means to have, to exist. Mm. Let me write down that as well. To have, to exist. Very basic 
verb actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very basic verb. Yeah, so must remember. Yeah, so which means that the sentence finishes with a to have or to exist and uh, start with the first subject, object one. Yeah, things I'm trying to explain the location. Yeah, which is a curtain, curtain, curtain. Mm -hmm. And after subject of particle, this is a really important actually. So uh, we're gonna see from the structure here. Yeah, when you see subject of particle, subject of particle with the object, this is the one we are trying to explain the object the location. Uh, but the, yeah, you can ask me, teacher, but you said yellow part is object one. Yes, and it's in the beginning. Yeah, so everyone gonna know. Yes, that's true, but the thing is, you can make a sentence in another structure, like a, this example. Mm. So here, start with the green object, which is uh, just a being there helping, explaining yellow color object one. Yeah. Uh, but the, how do we know that which one is which one? Just uh, follow the subject particle, like that. Follow the subject particle. Yeah. So whatever mixed with a subject particle, the object, yeah, that's the one trying to explain the location of object. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, yeah, object one, subject particle, and after object two, and after preposition and location particle. Remember, after the preposition always comes location particle, as you can see from here as well. Yeah. Preposition and after location particle and after finishing with a is so you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you might get confused about these rules, but don't worry. I'm recording this class right now, and after class, I'm going to send you. If you get confused, just a rewinding, watch again and again and again about what is rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So continue. Here's a second rule. It's a not starting with a yellow color object one. Uh, it's a starting with a object two. So object two, but as you can see, there's a none of a marker, none of a particle, mm, because uh, this green is not the one. I'm trying to explain the location. Mm -hmm. But if you start with a green, like object two, continue, preposition, location particle, and after the say the object what you're trying to explain mm -hmm. and after with a subject of particle make sure put the subject of particle e and after finishing with the e yo. this is what you learned the previous class actually mm -hmm. and the continue i just wrote here as uh, two different forms about the order so just try to check it as well object one subject of particle object two pp is a preposition mm -hmm. And the LP is a location particle and the finish with the ISO. Another form, object two, preposition, location particle, object one, weight, subject particle. Mm -hmm. And the finish with the ISO. Mm -hmm. So this is what I practice. And I also gave you homework and you guys, most of you guys are did well, very well, good job. And uh, now we are going to jump in for use SAI. SAI was a between, between for explain object location. This is a bit different. This is a bit different. You have to use another structure. This structure is not gonna work. You have to use another structure. Let's think about the logically. Yeah, I'm trying to explain my cell phone location again. So my cell phone is, I have a T here. So my cell phone is in between T and the pen. Yeah, again, my cell phone is in between pen and the T. Yeah, like that. As you can see, using three different objects, three different objects. Mm. Yeah, like a pen, cell phone, T, three different objects. Uh, in Korean, it's exactly the same. When you're trying to explain something in between, you have to use three different objects. And the for that require specific grammar called the wa and the kwa. Mm. Let's get to know what is that. Yeah, wa and the qua here. Noun plus wa qua plus noun. This meaning of the wa qua is, let me write it down, yeah. Wit or end, wit or end, both can be. Mm -hmm. Wit or end. So here's the example. Sa ga, sa gua, wa suba. Sagwa wa subak. Sagwa meaning is apple, and the subak meaning is a watermelon. Yeah. 
So which means you can translate as sagwa and watermelon or sagwa with watermelon. Mm -hmm. Remember, wa wa meaning can be with and and with and and both meaning can be. Oh uh, well, let me teach you several things more actually. Extra, extra. Mm. Let me change the cover. Give me one second. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, maybe some of you already got already know what is a uh, kurigo actually kurigo meaning is and uh, but uh, remember this one is uh, not about the uh, this wa wa using as a noun wa wa and the noun but the kurigo is a conjunction between the sentence not about the noun mm -hmm. yeah um yeah like that so don't be um how to say don't be mixed yeah don't mix that yeah separate separate mm. and the how we can using as you can see here's so a two option wa and the kwa mm. it's a talking about the depends on the previous noun last syllable from the noun have a patchim or doesn't have a patchim mm -hmm. so check this one yeah this is syllable this is syllable, this is syllable, this is syllable, this is syllable, this is syllable. Uh, just for explaining you one more time about what is the batchim, we're gonna compare all of them. Yeah. This is syllable doesn't have a batchim. This level doesn't have a batchim. This is level also doesn't have a batchim. And this one doesn't have a batchim, but this one, yes, have a batchim. As you can see, consonant, vowel, and another consonant, this angled one, yeah. This angled consonant we call the batchim, but other things try to see the structure: consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, like that. Mm. One consonant, one vowel. But does something have a batchim? Is a consonant, vowel, another consonant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as I said, before you choosing wa or kwa, what you need to consider is a last syllable from the noun, which means from the sa kwa you only consider kwa. Mm. So check this level, have a bachim or doesn't have a bachim. And as we know, doesn't have a bachim. In the case you're gonna using wa. Mm -hmm. What about this one? I changed the order. Su, bak, kwa, sa, kwa. Uh, so last syllable from the noun, which is a su, bak, from the su, bak, pak, this one, pak. Uh, as you can see, have a bachim, yeah. Consonant, vowel, and another consonant. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, pak. When I have a batchim, you're gonna using hua, hua, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after continue, whatever nouns comes, mm -hmm. yeah. So that was a basic explanation for this vocabulary, actually, this, uh, sorry, this grammar, this grammar. Mm. And uh, this is how we can explain the sentence for using between and using this grammar wa and the hua. Mm. So let me read it for you. Sa gua ga panana wa subak sa i e it o yo. Yeah. So same as a previous explanation, uh, object one is the one I'm trying to explain location. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which is a sa gua. Uh, sa gua meaning is apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So object one, and the remember always object you're trying to explain something always go with the subject particle e and the ka. Mm -hmm. Also subject particle have a two option e and the ka. It's exactly the same thing. Previous noun last syllable have a batchim or not? You need to choose it. So in this case, kwa doesn't have a batchim, so using ka for subject particle. But the, if you're trying to say like a, for the start with a subak, actually subak, subak meaning is a watermelon, and the subak conjugated with a subject particle, you have to say subak e like that. Mm. This is a explanation for subject particle how to using about how we can using be, be, different between subject particle, topic particle, object particle. I will give you class for the next one. Yeah. Uh, already we had the class as well, but for new students, I will do it again, yeah. Mm. So continue. So once you mention about the object, you're trying to explain the location and the continue, object two, banana, banana. And just directly say object three, but in between say the end or with, wa and the kwa, so like that. So banana, wa, subak, talking about the banana and subak. 
or banana weed. Suba. Yeah. Like that. And after continue, always finish with a sa i e isoyo. Mm. Sa i was a preposition. And remember, always after the preposition comes location particle. I'm talking about this sa i e, and this is the same form as what you saw here. Yeah. Here. Preposition, the pink color with the location particle, blue color, like this part. Same. Preposition plus location particle. Mm -hmm. Remember that in here. Preposition plus location particle is the same here. Yeah. Preposition, sai, and location particle, e, eh, like that. And finish with a, it's a yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the how we can use in between. Yeah. So if you didn't understand well, as I said, yeah, I'm going to send you the link of the this class video. Yeah. So try to check it again and try to practice. Yeah. That's really important actually. And also, I'm going to give you homework for these things. Yeah. So that is the basic grammar what I wanted to explain you guys. Yeah. Mm, give me one second. Yeah, like that. Mm. Okay. And uh, we still have a few more minutes, so let's do the things actually. So right now I have uh, 19 students. Uh, give me one second. Yeah, so I'm going to randomly pick you the maybe three or two of you. Let's see how many I can. The, depends on the time. And I'm going to ask you uh, personally uh, what you're up to and the, how, can I, how I can help you, like the personal tips and things. So let me put that like that. Five, six, two, five, four, ship, 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 yeah, um, 18. Yeah, except me actually. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give you individual number, each one of you actually, individual numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so when I mention about your name and when I give you name, yeah, remember what name is for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So starting from the Winnie, Winnie, you're number one. Mm -hmm. And Adeline, you're number two. And uh, Emilus Lunar, you're number three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Minets, you're number four. And uh, Maria Rosa, number five. Mm -hmm. And uh, Partao, Partao, Mahania Partao, you're number six. And uh, Jones, uh, Pre Presia Jones, number seven. Uh, ja Jaje Lopez, continue, number eight. And uh, Aser, Navi and Aser, number nine. And uh, John, number 10. And uh, Jack, number 11. And uh, yeah, Joe, jo, how to, how to pronounce it? <laughs> it's difficult. Lopez, Lopez, number 11. Uh -huh. You can call me Joey. 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 Ah, okay, Joey, okay. number 11. Thank you. <laughs> Christine, number 12. Putri, number 13. Uh, number 14. Uh, Guanzon, Guanzon, number 14. And Mary Kawai, number 15. Mahania Partao is number 16. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. That's all. Uh, anyone? I didn't give you a number. Anyone? I didn't give you a number. I give you a total. Yeah. I give you everyone. Sure, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's the roll, it. roll it. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let me update it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Which number? Number 12. Who was it? Number 12. Unlock the mute and speak to me. Mm -hmm. Number 12. Me, Christine. Christine. Hello, Christine. Hi. Yeah, okay, Christine. Uh, how are you? How's your Korean so far? Uh, how can I help you? Anything I can help you about the where you up to? Uh, about my Korean, I'm still straightening up my Korean. <laughs> Currently entering this different class, different groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, planning to. How are you How are you speaking? How are you speaking? Like, uh, can you help to read the syllables? Syllables, uh, can I think? Okay. Let's do let's just a little bit of a practice with that. Okay, Christian. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me which country you came? 
Philippines. Philippines. Okay. Can you try to read this one? This syllable? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Philippines. Ah, pretty well. Okay. Mm, try to read the full sentence this time. Mm, it's a bit long, but can you try? Yeah, John and Philippines are soil. Ah, seems like your point is very good. Okay, now let me just try to check your listening. They say intermediate. I don't know. <laughs> ah, sorry? Um, one of my Korean friends told me that my speaking is uh, intermediate level, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, what about your listening? <laughs> let me check. I'm going to ask you one question. Mm. Philippine Odiaso was soil. Again. Filipino de soya. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you know what is the meaning? Um, where do you something like where in Philippines are you from? Exactly. Um, I'm asking you which city actually. Well, all the ads of Philippines. Which, okay. which like where from Philippines? Okay. How would you like to answer? Mm. Oh, la union de soya soya. Again. Again. La Union is so wasoyo. L A. Uh -huh. L A. Let me do that. Angle. L A. Yeah. Um, space. space. U I. Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Sorry. U N I O N. Union. Union. Is so wasoyo. La Union. La Union is so wasoyo. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Ah, all right. Yeah. It seems like you're pretty intermediate. Any difficult part, like, uh, meanwhile, you're doing study right now for the Korean, like, uh, if you want to specifically improve speaking or reading or writing, anything. Yeah. Um, actually, I can on my, those particles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to expand my knowledge about that. I uh, think expand your knowledge of and sorry. then yeah more more on vocabularies more vocabularies. So I'm just trying yeah trying to listen how you speak and spelling <laughs> okay, I think okay. that's it uh, maybe if you want to jump in more advanced I recommend to you try to learn about the um, like a run vocabulary is about the based on Chinese letter mm. for example can you based try on Chinese letter mm -hmm. for example can you try to read this one, Check this one. The. Ah, do you know what Check is the meaning the. Uh -huh. and the meaning I read book Exactly. Check is book. To read book. Aha. Check, Check is, is book. book. And yeah. Ilka is a to read, yeah? As a verb. Is. Uh, but in Korean, we can simply say this one with a two syllable. We call the tok sa. Tok sa. And it's based on Chinese letter. For example, sa is meaning is a book. And the tok meaning is a to read, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what I want you to, if you want to jump in another level, like uh, try to check these kind of uh, vocabularies, actually, something based on Chinese letter, but uh, very mm -hmm. unique, very unique. Because as you can see, if the syllable doesn't finish with a da, but uh, have a verb meaning, as you can see, they have a verb meaning, mm -hmm. which is if you're going to using this in grammatically, you have to use it as a noun, you have to use it as a noun. Yeah, so there will be the differences. There will be the differences. Mm. So, for example, uh, maybe Toksoder, uh, Hakkyo, and Tosokwane, Kayo, Tosokwan, sorry, Tosokwane, Kayo, something like that. Yeah. So, this is a very commonly saying in Korea, actually, very Korea. Instead, uh, like this way, Tosokwane, check, Ilguro, Kayo, yeah, Kayo. Instead of say this sentence, this one is more recognizable, but we say this way in Korean very commonly actually, yeah. More advanced, more advanced. Uh, more advanced. The meaning is the first one is uh, yeah, library and the kayo from the verb kada to go. And uh, this oh, okay. meaning is via, to the location, location to via, mm -hmm. which okay. means a library via, via, oh, sorry, via to do, 
So that talks up reading a book like that. Mm -hmm. But you can just finish the sentence with a reading a book, to go to reading a book, and the where, location particle, and the one. Yeah, uh, like that. So yeah, this is this gonna be make you jump in on another level and the speaking like a Korean very fluently, not just a simple vocabulary actually. So try to check those kind of things. And the how you can find it? Mm, if you can find, try yeah, to find, yeah. ask your Korean friends about the Korean newspaper. Mm, Korean newspaper. Korean newspaper. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or try to watch the YouTube Korean news. Korean news is from YouTube. Uh, yeah, oh, Korean. I wonder, uh, contact me personally. I will send you a link about the Korea live news link in the YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I will okay. You. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, Christian. Uh, let's do Thank one. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's do one more student. Yeah, let me pick the random number. Let's go. Uh, number one, number one. Uh, was a Winnie, Verda? Was a Winnie? Winnie, hello, you there? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, Winnie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Anything I can help you? Where are you up to for Korean? Mm. Uh, I'm still having a problem reading Korean. Reading Korean, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm, for example, okay, maybe try to read this one. Uh, mm. Oh no, so so open. Uh, or your was there was so Ah, yeah, this was a little bit difficult. Yeah, let me show you in the big screen like this way. Mm. This way yeah, what? Oh, yeah, right. let me make it more bigger. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah, what? Oh, you, yeah. Uh, maybe I think you have a difficult problem from here. Yeah, so let's separate and see together. Like, uh, you're gonna see with a this consonant with a, this vowel with a, this patchim. Mm. Yeah, maybe the you having some problem with a double vowel. This is what we call the double vowel. So maybe let's practice this one. Uh, wa and wa and, uh, yeah, uh, no, not this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, simply these two. Simply these two. Yeah. So whenever you trying to, whenever you see this kind of uh, like a double vowel, yeah, as you can see, you can separate. Yeah, you can separate. Like, uh, let me make it more specifically. Uh, give me one second. Uh, mm, like uh, this way. Yeah. Just originally, this is a single vowel, and uh, this is a single vowel. So try to separate. Try to separate. Yeah. Which means, like, uh, with the, with the, this consonant, try to see this one. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. And the, with the, this one, oh, separate like that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So after separate, try to read it together. Ooh, oh, oh. ooh, oh. oh. Uh -huh. But uh, try to read it quickly, quickly. Ooh, oh. ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you're speaking more quickly, it sounds like a wah, actually. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. Mm -hmm. So try to practice those kind of thing. And after that, you know, every depends on what consonant you're using for the bachim have an individual sounds. Yeah. So that one just need to remember about the what bachim, what consonant as a bachim, what sounds. Huh? This one just for memorize. Yeah. So for example, this consonant as a bachim, exactly same as uh, this consonant, which is a uh, T sound, T sound. Mm -hmm. So reading as a what, what, T sound. So all together, what, like that, what. what? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, can you try to read this one then? No, no this one. Wa. Wa, exactly. Then can you try to read now with a patchim? What about this one? Yeah. What? What, T sound, what, uh -huh. exactly. Okay, yeah, like that. Uh, I think your yeah your reading was uh, was good. Your reading was good actually. Yeah, not any problem. Just uh, need to uh, practice more. I, I don't think any. Yeah, I need more practice. 
<laughs> yeah, just a practice. Yeah, that, that's the only one you need actually, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Uh, any other question would you like to ask me, by the way? The, any tips? Oh, not for now. Okay, anytime. If you need uh, any question, if you need uh, any help or things, yeah, contact me, especially you because you're helping me organize the class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, anyone have a question? Anyone? Anyone? That's so far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let me finish the class, everyone. Thank you for the joining. Thank you for the joining take classes. Kamsamida. Kamsamida. Everyone. Kamsamida. Thank you, Mr. Hans. Kamsamida. 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 K